welcome back, Rankers. Yeah, new setup again. Big DNS outage during the week in Australia, and it affected a lot of international traffic as well. So this can have a real impact on your SEO. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about DNS and what you need to know. What are the critical things that you should be aware of with your own DNS? Uh, one of the first things you can do if you're on a Mac is you can open up Terminal and uh, you can just type in who is, and then just put in your domain name. And we were working with, uh, we were just moved domains to .com.au from .biz. So I'm just having a look and seeing what is the who is information associated with Stuart Media. And you can see here, we've got the registrant and we have got uh, the registrant contact name. Now, as, as a business owner, they're the two things that you need the most. Now, if you're not on a Mac, or any form of Nix, Linux, Unix, anything. And if you're on Windows, you can actually go to who.is. There's a myriad of these sort of services out there, uh, DNS stuff, there's a whole bunch of them. And to get the same information, once again, you would just type in, uh, I don't know, let's just say uh, maya.com.au. and it will bring back all the DNS records over here. So you just go over here and it'll bring us back the DNS records at some point when the interwebs hamsters pedal faster. Anyway, while that's doing that, the other thing that it can affect, so here you can see all, all, all Maya's stuff. Now, what you need to know is A, you need to own that domain name. So if you are not the registrant then you do not own that domain name. So when you go and try to move hosting or you try to uh, move uh, services or anything to do with your DNS, you're gonna have problems. And we've struck a number of clients that are like this. The other thing that you need to have a think about is who is your registrar and who actually controls your DNS? Because when net registry went down last week, that also affected a lot of wholesalers. Uh, Melbourne IT, TPP internet, so we had, uh, well, there was at least 63,000 domains just on net registry that would have been affected by this. Now, I don't know how many of those were businesses, and I don't know how many of those were wholesalers, but certainly three wholesalers I, I was tracking because they were the um, doing the DNS for some of our clients, for about five of our clients. Those ones definitely went down and affected a lot of their, their clients. So you imagine, I mean, Melbourne IT is probably the, well, it's definitely the oldest registrar in the country. And they also own TPP. Now, if they were down and um, net registry is down, then a large chunk of Australia's internet was down. And I don't know what the cost was from that, but it would have been in the millions for that downtime. Now. Unfortunately, <laughs> that money's gone, can't get it back. But you do need to be aware and go and tidy up your DNS. And if there are records, so when you do say this search on who is, if you're seeing stuff in there that makes no sense, speak to your systems administrator and say to them, hey, clean this stuff up because um, we're not using half of this stuff in here. And if you don't know what it is, get your systems administrator to justify it. Because what can happen is, you got to change your hosting and you find out that, well, here's a case in point. If you are using something like cPanel, for instance, to do your DNS as well, then uh, you can't actually do HTTPS. Didn't know that, did you? No. Nah. Well, nor did we. We just found out um, the other day when we were trying to move a client who was using cPanel to do the DNS. And cPanel can't yet do that because some types of records it doesn't support yet. That's why it's important to, uh, I always have my registrar and on the registrar, which is say like a crazy domains or it's a or GoDaddy or it's any of these sorts of uh, companies, it's a Melbourne IT. I put my, my main name servers there and they then point to uh, where my um, site now is. Now, if I want to move my site, I can just pick everything up and move it. I don't have to worry about, you know, who's doing, who's my registrar, who's doing my name serving, who's doing, it goes all over the place. So 
if you don't know what's happening with your DNS, you really need to. And it, it won't be a problem until uh, you really need control of it. And then it's going to be a problem. And I've uh, stopped the transfer of two sites this week. Uh, and it's only Tuesday. Um, because the DNS entries all need to be cleaned up first. Because you can have all sorts of things um, happen. All sorts of things go wrong if you don't sort out your DNS. And the other thing, the other test you can do, here's a nice test to do. Uh, if you go to web page test, go and have a look at your time to first byte and the DNS lookup. Because sometimes whoever's doing a DNS can actually be slowing your site down considerably. So we're testing here and we're saying, um, do this test from an Australian server, all right? So, um, so we're just saying it uh, from this Australian server, tell us about the speed of this uh, site. So it's gonna come back and tell us. And the thing that you wanna have a look at is how long does it take to do the DNS? Now, chances are, if you are letting your hosting company do your DNS, it might be a bit slow. Oh, geez, can't even see it. It failed the test considerably. Uh, I'll try Genomofo, former client, if you know mofo.com.au. So we'll wait for that to come up. The other uh, site that you can have a look at, which is a really simple and easy one, uh, and you know, depending on which country you're doing this test from, it could be longer. So it's gonna be longer if you're doing it from Australia than if, say, you're doing it from the US, right? So uh, this one's called bitecheck.com, really simple. And basically, you just put your URL in there. And it's telling me here, uh, my time to first byte is uh, 500 milliseconds, or nearly 600 milliseconds. So what does web page test said? Well, oh, it's all over the place. We've got effective use of the CDN. Okay, the time to first byte is an F of VinoMofo though. So we're going to have a look at here. And this is the thing you can check to see if your DNS is, is part of the problem. Um, you can see here, you've got this little um, uh, legend, or whatever you want to call it. So you can see here, it's not taking long to get that DNS information at all. So we can see here, this color here is DNS, and we can see this color here. And you can see it's getting it really quickly. And also, it's a 301, and then it's getting the second one, which is a 301. Uh, so if I go... So you can see here, we've got a 301, 80 milliseconds, another 301, 200, and then 100 milliseconds by the looks of it to get the certificate. Yeah. So you could say it's 100 milliseconds for the DNS for VinoMofo. And that's how you can check whether the DNS provider you're using is a good one or not. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.